morning camper van aficionados it has been too long and i am really sorry that it's taken this long to get an episode up but today is an exciting day because we are going to get the ventilation done as i mentioned and we're also going to look at shower options now i've come up with a couple of potential ways to go about this um but really i've just got one path like one path i mean there's a couple of options to heat the water because so this will actually be a warm, hot-ish, warmish shower, which is quite cool. Um, not cool, it's quite warm, ha! Um, but yes, so we are going to be cracking with that. I'm going to do the ventilation, the shower. And I'm just going to do a couple of other things, because I have something important to say about the electrical kit today as well. Basically, in the kit, there was a 240 volt plug, uh, a dual plug, and I fitted that just here below my kitchen so I can plug stuff in and put it up on the countertop and carry on with doing whatever I want to need to do but I don't know why this didn't occur to me but that plug only operates when you connect the three pin plug that came in the kit I haven't actually mounted that to the outside wall because I don't really want it on the outside wall um, I'm just going to have, if I ever, I, I, the thing is I don't think I'd ever use it, but if I did need to use it, I would just trail a cable into the van during the day, charge it while I'm around. I wouldn't ever need to have it like going while I'm not in. Now, if you want 240 volt plugs, you have to plug them into the inverter, and I don't know why this didn't occur to me, but there are two plugs on the inverter, you plug something into it, and then you can use 240 volt appliances. So what I've done is, I bought a nice swish sort of uh, dual plug that has two USB chargers on it as well. I'm going to basically wire up a little, basically my own extension lead, a, a posher one, and install that next to the other 240 volt plugs that I have there. And then I'm going to have my uh, emergency campsite one and my usual standard one. But that ladies and gentlemen, is what we are getting up to today. It's so quite a busy day, which is good. Now that I've uh, added the plug onto the end, I've just put it through next to the inverter. And I've led the cables through with the other cables along their lines that they come out just down below there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead it up, cut a hole here, and then that's where my plug's going to go. Now I know what you're thinking, that seems quite close for high amounts of electricity to go near water, but if this does worry you though, you could potentially look at boxing this up separately. <laughs> is wired up all we have to do is clip that on and look at that brilliant so annoyingly I couldn't find one that looked exactly the same as this but I almost quite like that because it means that I can easily distinguish like I can just remember that that's my campsite one that's my on the go one um, and plus I mean it looks really badass this one as well so the last job to do is plug that main socket in to my inverter so we are ready to roll what we have to do now is to see if it works so plug that in plug my drill in and then hey! so now we have a uh, main socket that we can use on the go plus we've also got USB ports as well which is great absolutely chuffed with the results so now we just need to put the bed back in and get everything back on so it looks nice and tidy again some exciting news the covers for the mattress the foam bits of mattress have been finished by my lovely girlfriend 
And now we have put them on and they look great. So we've gone for this sort of Aztec style fabric. Time for the moment of truth. I have been on to Ford's website and I've looked at some diagrams to find out where I can drill through the floor for my ventilation hole. And I'm pretty damn certain, no I'm not certain, I'm pretty sure I know where I can drill through. I, I mean there's nothing really below where I'm going to be drilling, it's just metal plates, but there's a point that I want to come out at. It's quite a large area but you, you, you never really know, um, but I've measured it quite a few times now and I'm just going to go for it, I'm going to drill it through and it should go straight through the floor, out the bottom and then I'm going to 3D print a uh, custom vent So, we can see daylight through so what I'm going to do is nip underneath and see where it's come out Ah, perfect, exactly where I sort of wanted it to come out really um, That's a great result so what I need to do, keep on drilling, get through, and then paint over the bare metal, get it sealed up so that there's no chance of rust, and uh, get this uh, vent 3D printed and in. <laughs> While we wait for the vent 3D print, um, I'm going to talk about showers. Now, as you saw earlier, I spray painted my 25 litre tank. So basically, I sprayed it black, matte black, because obviously, if you put it out in the sun, it's going to actually warm up. Quite, well, you know, it's quite, it makes a difference. It does make a difference. If you put it out there, I mean, if I, I've just put some about two thirds of a, a tank in, and the side is already warm. Um, even though it is now the 1st of November, so that's quite impressive, but obviously that's not going to do it, that's not going to cut it. So there are a few options you can, you, you can go about to get a nice warm hot shower. One of those is to simply top it up with a bit of boiling water by taking your pots and pans, filling it up, putting it on the gas, then boiling, pouring in there, and you're sort of like bringing it a bit more up to temperature. That does take quite a while, because uh, obviously you, you don't have big pots and pans and it does take a long time to boil um, water. Another way is now that we have a, uh, now we have um, proper plugs in here, you can use one of these, which does look very suspicious, I will admit. But this plugs into just an oil plug, and as soon as you plug it in, it's on. But basically this is a, um, as a water boiler for a cup so you just put this in the cup and it sits there for two minutes maybe and the water is really really hot after that so it does heat it quite quickly it's about 300 watts so that is half the allowed wattage that we're allowed to use in our system now the other day I tried this out because I wanted to see what sort of like what sort of speed it would take to sort of get the tank up to temperature and I left it in for half an hour and it brought it to should I say a temperature that is like tepid is tepid. It was. It wasn't. It wouldn't be warm. It wouldn't be hot. But it would be a bearable shower. The so next thing to look at is how to get the water to come out of the shower head. So I've just simply got another 12 volt water pump, and I put it in. And on the other end, on the other end, I've wired up. They're basically a, a um, cigarette lighter, a cigarette lighter jack. So this simply plugs into one of the ports. Now I've put I've put a little switch on here. So I can turn the water on and off. You can then go one step further and get yourself a simple garden hose attachment. So there, clips on nice and easy and I can put it on the shower setting and with the flick of a switch I've got a pretty awesome little shower. I mean that is freezing cold because I haven't heated it at all but that is a very reasonable sort of amount of water to come out at the end. 
and if you if this is a 25 litre tank you're looking at a two and a half minute shower the minimum so that's a pretty decent little setup to be honest for on the go so while I wait for the 3D printer to finish the vent, I just wanted to say that I'm really thankful for all the support and everything from you guys, it's been great. I didn't actually think it would hit off this well. But we are nearly at the end and it is quite a sad thing. So what I would like to do is go on to another project and I had something in mind. But if you guys wanted me to actually explore something or have a go at something, please let me know in the comments. And um, I'm sure I'll try and have a go at building whatever contraptions you guys think up of. My 3D piece is finished. So really, we are done for the day. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bum 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 bum